Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. If your iPhone 7 is not holding the charge, or you can say that it's fully charged at 100%, and the phone battery just drained out very quickly, then more likely the battery needs to be replaced. And after all, iPhone 7 is kind of an older generation, then, then the battery is definitely, it is time for a replacement. All right, so let's go ahead and power off the phone. And I'll be using a Pentalo P2 0 0.8, the little five pointer star looking screwdriver here. Go ahead and remove the two screws at the bottom right next to the charging port. Once you've removed the two screws, get yourself a metal prying tool, stick it in between the phone and the iPhone base like such and then just gently run it around the screen try not to stick it too deep because you do not want to damage the internal part of the phone just enough to cut the adhesive so the phone has adhesive all around it and um, and to remove the screen you definitely need to cut that adhesive off all right so there you go once the remove the, once you have cut the uh, adhesive off, you're going to need a screwdriver which is the tri-point or the Y screwdriver uh, which is the 0 0.6 so It's a little Y-shaped screwdriver, 0 0.6 I'm going to remove four screws because we need to remove the bracket Okay, so one, two, three, four screws and then the bracket would just come right off. I'll be using a plastic prying tool to get in between that bracket. Remove that and disconnect the battery. They're kind of like Lego. You just have to uh, go in there and, and remove them. And I'll be using a Philip 1.5 to remove the two screws here. Which is, which is holding down the proximity sensor, the front speaker. So that cable right there is right behind this bracket. So you need to remove the two screws and then remove the bracket and then get right into the connector to disconnect them. So this is the entire uh, screen for the iPhone 7. All right, so that is the original battery. That is the Moto 616-00258. Um, what I'll do is I'll link the description down below where you can find the replacement battery uh, for your iPhone 7. Now, the easier way to do it, I like to remove three screws here, which is holding down the uh, Taptic tap engine for that um, the iPhone, so remove the three screws. Then it gives me a little extra more room to work with. So the thing doesn't come off because that flex cable right there is to attach to the phone. To remove that, you're going to remove a lot of things. So what I do is I just kind of gently pull it back down so that it gives me a lot more room to work with the adhesive tape right there. Okay, the next step here, I'll be using a tweezer to kind of like get underneath that tape right here. So there's a tape, a white sticky tape. I need to remove that. To remove the battery, so get right underneath that. I just want to give you a warning here because the battery is lithium iron and it has to be done professionally if you look at here the warning sign uh, potential for fire or burning do not disassemble puncture crush heat or burn so read that warning sign meaning that the battery can easily uh, be punctured if you use something sharp like a tweezer um, it would catch fire or things like that so so do not break this as well I wish I just broke it 
yikes okay so you get the picture let me go ahead and work on this here be very careful take your time do not pull it too hard because the uh, the tape uh, the tape can be easily snapped you want to just pull just right enough of pressure to give it a little pull then you can disconnect um, and just get this thing out okay I was able to get some out it looks like some of them are still stuck inside just trying gently pry it open and I see the tape on the other side of it I'm gonna pull that out a slightly a little get enough room Looks like it's going to snap again. So I'm going to go, go and grab a little bit more of the tape. So when I'm pulling the tape, I'm trying to pull it as low as possible. Meaning if you yank it up high, you're putting a lot more stretch to the tape. So if you do it lower, um, you're kind of the same level with the tape. So that create an easy pull for it. Okay. So there you go. Okay, let's see if this thing ready to come off. Obviously it is not ready to come off. So you have some of the, uh, the white tape still attached on the other side of it which I can see it from here so all I'm doing right now is just very gently separating them apart Putting enough pressure. As you can see that some of the uh, the tape is still all the way in there.
cut it for a second and then pull back. Okay, come out here. Gotcha. So this should be a final pull. Whoops. Not really. But finally, I think it's going to come off. Just be patient. Do not rush it. Take your time. And uh, because over time, those tape, over time, the tape would have just like finally removed it. Over time, the tape, what happened to them is they become uh, dried out. So the, uh, uh, the thing can easily get snapped. So that's what happened here. Okay. So once we are done with that process, that is the uh, old battery. I'll be changing out with the new battery here. And this is a not an original battery. It's a third-party battery. If you really need an Apple original battery, you should go to Apple Store, uh, the Genius Bar for the battery replacement. Okay. Once we, once you have that. What I'm getting is the uh, double-sided adhesive tape. I'm using a tape here to re-tape the battery. Cut it into two pieces. One for the top and one for the bottom. I'd like it to give a slightly little uh, tape sticking out on the other side. Uh, that way, the next person who wants to replace the uh, the battery, they can identify where the tape is, so they can relocate that little side tape here, and then they can just pull it from there. Okay, once you have removed that two tape, what I like to do is make sure I have the um, tap tick screwed in in a position because uh, the battery has to go back on above it just make sure the position is correct before I install the battery Okay, so I like to position the battery, kind of get the connector going, right? You want to position the battery, get the connector going, insert, position it. Okay, you can see that the tape angle was on this side, so I'm going to give it a little press, and then the tip in the bottom, give it a little press. The connector is secure and fastened. I have enough room on the bottom part enough room on the side come back here and disconnect the battery now I'm going to insert the screen they are just like Lego they snap back on so to remove it you just got to pry it up to install you just have to make sure you have the uh, connector aligned properly sitting on top of each other then you can just press it down gently do not force it because they do not need any um, any force to push it back in okay remember the four screws the little y-shaped screw That far right screw is a lot longer compared to the rest of it, just, just for your clarification. So that far right, the one here in the middle is a short screw. And the one on the very top is a short, short screw. OK, 
Okay, remember the bracket here that goes on the very top. It's gonna go back to the uh, the bracket. Let's realign them. Push it all the way to the side. This is the uh, Philip. Okay, and then to install, what you want to do is make sure you align the top, slide it in first, okay, and then crunch it down on the side. And do not forget the two screws back in. Pentelope P2 0 0.8, that's the size of the, uh, the screw and charge the phone for about four to five hours. Give it a deep cycle charge and that should be all you have to do. Um, hopefully the new battery still have power. Oh, it does. It's powering on. And, um, and this old battery can just throw it away or recycle them in a proper way of disposing it, okay? Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.